How you doing YouTube, it's Will from Middle Development, and this is part three of my Stone Math series. And in this part, if you watched part two, it's linked down below, and I might actually take time to put it on a button somewhere around here, because I'm starting to get into all that. Ooh, it's fancy. If I didn't check it down below, I know I'll put a link to it down in the description, and you can see it there where I discussed the actual yield sizes versus advertised sizes. And I so talked about and touched on the idea that, get the fuck over it. They just are what they are. You need to work around this. It's your problem not the manufacturers. With this in mind, I'm going to hammer this idea home. Now, last time we talked about the volume of a sphere formula, how to figure out how big a mole is in cubic inches, as well as things along the lines of estimating your theoretical yield. Now, I wanted to hammer that point home in this separate video. It's not that lengthy, but I need to go in depth, if that makes any kind of sense. It really doesn't. But bear with me, I promise I'm going somewhere with this. For the purpose of all my examples, I'm going to use an 18 inch mold, just because I know the calculations are accurate. And this is the mold I use more often than not. In fact, if you're thinking about purchasing a mold, I recommend an 18 inch. It'll go up to about 230 pounds realistically. It's a good decent size that you can work with, make much smaller stones with, not smaller, but lighter. And you can make much heavier stones with very easily using this particular size. So if you're gonna invest in one mold, I can't recommend the 18 inch enough. Or if you're fucking crazy, go with the 20 inch. I mean, you can make a 20 inch stone weigh as little as I think 190 pounds or some crazy number like that I came up with one time during all my calculations. I don't remember. Regardless, I digress. The advertised volume of an 18 inch stone mold is 3,053.63 cubic inches. We found this by taking nine, which is half of 18, and plugging it into the volume of a sphere formula. If we do the math on that, we found out that it should produce a stone that weighs around 235.6 pounds. Beautiful, lovely, great. If we want 235 pound stones, we're good all day, baby. We can just crank those out as much as we want. But wait, my stone only seems to be weighing about 225 pounds. That is so weird. Why is it almost 10 pounds less? And it took me a shamefully long amount of time to admit that I finally figured out what the problem was. If you buy a stone mold, the first thing you need to do is measure the inside diameter of the smaller side. Usually there's a side that has a lip on it. Measure the inside diameter of the other side with the mold uh, curved side, so that side, curved like that, the curved side down, and measure the inside diameter of that mold. What I found is that my 18 inch mold was actually 17.75 inches in diameter, not 18. Now when we replug that number in to the calculation, we find that my particular 18 inch mold only has a volume of 2,928.15 cubic inches. Is that a lot? I'll let you be the judge. The difference in volume is only 125.48 cubic inches. But when we do the math, we figure out that that equates to about 9.6 pounds of concrete that I can never get into that mold. And honestly, every time I ever did calculations using this mold, I was always about nine pounds off, and I could not figure out why. Well, now I have my answer, right? I have an eight inch, a 10 inch, a 14, 16, 18, 20, and a 22 inch mold. I just about have the whole set, I'm only missing a 12 inch. Uh, I've just never needed that particular size, nobody's ever requested it. It's on the list to purchase, but I just don't have it. But I'm using the 18 inch mold as my example, because not only do I use it the most out of all my molds, but it's also the one that has the largest discrepancy at 9.6 pounds. But that's not even the crazy part. The crazy part is sometimes it's, it's over. For instance, on my 22 inch mold, it has an advertised volume of somewhere around 5,575.28 cubic inches. In reality, I found that it has a calculated volume of somewhere around 5,670.85 cubic inches. That's 7.3 pounds above what it should have. That may not sound like a bad thing because, you know, they always want, want heavier stones, right? The problem becomes if I use that original 5,500 in my calculations, I'm always going to end up seven pounds over. Well, now let's say I'm trying to pick up a 22 inch stone and I've made this thing that now weighs 200 pounds using different formulas and very calculations. That seven pounds can mean the difference between me picking it up and me not picking it up or displeasing somebody I'm giving the stone to. So I hope I've hammered the point home that you definitely need to not only measure your molds but do proper calculations because you will find that a lot of times the advertised volume is inaccurate but not only that the volume of the actual mold you have is often slightly off 
Now, the difference in size for me was only a quarter of an inch, but that equated to over 120 cubic inches of difference, which was about 10 pounds. That's a pretty big discrepancy to be dealing with, and it will definitely save you some time if you just take my advice and measure your mold before you use it. Just trust me. So I hope that was of some help to you. Like I said last time, I do have a plan. There is a method to my madness. You need to stay tuned for part, what part am I on now? Stay tuned for part four, where I'm going to discuss lightening your stones. This is a very important concept because the lighter you can make a big ass stone, the better you're gonna be at lifting big ass heavy stones. As always, I'm Will from Will Development. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or worries, Write me a comment down below, and I will do my very best to answer in a clear, concise, and quick manner, and I make no promises to any of those. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, keep walking, please. Uh, feel free to share these videos out and about. If you feel like they are any kind of help, I implore you to share these videos around. Please get my name out there. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to hit me up down here. I reply to most comments, I'm also on Facebook, all that links to all that social media bullshit's down below. And if you missed an episode, I have all the episodes linked down below, as well as in a compiled list. You can go to my channel and you can see that I have all the videos laid out, the ones that I've released so far. It's fucking YouTube, you know how to use YouTube if you want. So be sure to stay tuned for part four, so you can learn how to light your stones. And if you don't, then what's your excuse?